The archive that I've been working on is an extract from a collection of post-dated memories. I enjoy putting together archives of fragments and personal histories. And in a way, the project is an investigation into the secret in numbers, datas and words strung together. When we look at the city, we see zones and boundaries on the map. But in reality, cities are experienced by people in the form of trajectories and journeys. And we retrace the same lines until they are etched into memory and become familiar. In my time spent in Paris, I frequently encountered dates on the pavements. And on the third day that I had arrived in Paris near the Louvre, I encountered my first date. They were literally just stamping the date 5th September 2012 into the road as I was going past. And from there on, I noticed that these construction dates are etched all over the city's pavements and they stand like chronological monuments to recent urban developments in this otherwise unchanging historic city. When memories are transcribed into words, the manner in which they are described usually reveals more about the present than the past, and the story on the written page never just represents one moment in time. I wonder if more stories can be stored inside these dates that have been written into the streets. And for me, the GPS map photographs of the dates are the markers of my own three-month journey travelling through Paris. And the archive of stories extends it by exploring the trajectories and paths taken by others on those very same dates. For many people who live or have lived in more than one city at the same time, the city is not just a physical place. It is something that is made from different moments, paths and stories. And the city's architectures can still be drastically reshaped by the meanings that we eventually choose to attach to them. My first encounter with the city of Paris evoked a sense of primeval instinct as I tried to adapt myself in a new foreign environment. This chanced upon an idea for my project to reflect a primal approach in adapting a new space. My orientation to this space with the help of a map thus provide an inlet or a passage for me to explore my interests within the inhabitants. This was the beginning of my process thought for my art project. The Semoi Cota Paris, which means Draw Me a City Paris, is a community art project that I collaborate with during my residency. I take on this interest as a collaborative project with the people that reside in the city of Paris to create a drawing documentation of map. In this documentation, I approach the people to interpret or draw a map of their home on clothes that I wore. The drawing of clothes was just an alternative approach to show their drawn map. Each clothes is represented with a drawn map from an individual home. I wanted to collect each district map of Paris from the people in order to form a shape-like spiral in my final presentation for the exhibition. This project highlights my interest in space and how spaces are occupied and shaped as a mental form. It identifies a sense of rational formation within the context of spatial mapping. For instance, the mental map of an unknown place described through experience or stories create a contrast and also a pathway to a mental map of a familiar space. The inaccuracy or false mapping therefore provides a layer of interpretation and suspense. However, there is also a form of linkage between the two spaces, from an imaginary space to existing or a real space. This project describes a sense of engagement the meeting, the exchanges, and the final installation. It reflects a process work for my exploration in this residency. Concepisco la fotografia e l'arte come un discorso di piani, che possono essere geometrici e spaziali, ma anche storici o sociali, e che sono sempre umani. Postcard si inserisce in questa visione. I lavori di questa serie sono il frutto della ricerca iconografica su archivi fotografici storici e contemporanei, come ad esempio i siti di vendita online. Ma non sono meno importanti l'impiego di finestrini d'automobile d'epoca e di fotografie recenti. 
Questi elementi si sovrappongono per sottolineare la presenza umana nel contesto urbano e stimolare una riflessione su come la presenza delle automobili ha modificato il nostro concetto di città. L'interesse per il tema dell'unipresenza delle automobili nasce dalla constatazione dello stato attuale della mia città e dalla profonda esigenza di agire per modificare la mentalità che ha creato questa situazione. Ho scelto quindi di parlare di automobili attraverso l'assenza di esse, utilizzandone gli elementi trasparenti che sono anche il confine tra l'interno privato e l'esterno pubblico. In una sorta di ossimoro visivo l'automobile si dissolve lasciando spazio ai passanti, parte viva della città.